Good day everyone. It is nice to see you again. Welcome to our NE Learning, as our learning community. Flood Disaster preparedness refers to measures taken to prepare for and reduce the effects of disasters because disasters do happen almost everywhere. Knowing what to do before, during and after a disaster increases your chance of survival and always remember that disaster preparedness can save lives. Flood Flood is the rising of water level until it overflows its natural or artificial confines and submerges the surrounding area. Did you know that? On September 2009, Tropical Storm Ondoy brought a month worth of rain, flooding vast areas in Metro Manila and neighboring provinces. Almost 500 people were killed and more than 500 were injured. As part of disaster preparedness, citizens should plan and practice what to do in the event of a flood, in order to properly respond before, during and after a flood. Before a flood, you should know the hazards in your area. 1. Monitor the news for weather updates, warnings and advisories. 2. Know the flood early warning and evacuation plan of the community. 3. Participate in community flood preparedness actions and drills. 4. Secure your home. Move essential furniture and items to the upper floor. 5. Before evacuating, turn off all main switches of electricity, water and LPG tanks. 6. Put livestock and pets in a safe area or designated evacuation sites for animals. And 7. When order is received, immediately evacuate to higher and safer grounds. During a flood, you should stay on higher grounds. 1. Stay indoors and stay tuned for latest news and weather updates. 2. Do not touch electrical equipment if you are wet or standing in flood water. 3. Do not go swimming or boating in swollen rivers. 4. Do not cross streams when water level is already above the knee. And 5. Do not walk or drive through flooded water. And after a flood, you should stay alert and keep safe. 1. Leave the evacuation area only when authorities say it is safe to return home. 2. Report fallen trees and electric posts to proper authorities. 3. Check for wet or submerged electrical outlets and appliances before turning on electricity. 4. Check your house for possible damages and repair as necessary. 5. Make sure that the flood and water for drinking are not contaminated by flood water. And 6. Throw away rainwater in cans, pots and tires to prevent breeding of mosquitoes. Thank you for listening. This is our NE Learning. And special thanks to the Office of Civil Defense of Department of National Defense, Republic of the Philippines and to National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council or NDRRMC. Providing you a disaster preparedness reminder to be prepared for disaster. Thank you for listening. Have a good day and be safe. Agya Manak.